I grew up in Uganda in a very big but close-knit family with a lot of cousins and a lot of siblings and we did everything together. When I was in senior three, my parents decided to move me and my siblings to Canada. Uh, they told us we'll be starting a new school there, we'll be there for one term and then we'll be able to come back home for the holidays. Uh, but that one term turned into eight years before I ever came back to Uganda and 12 years till I moved back finally and came back home. But it's during this time in Canada that I started expressing myself creatively. I started writing poetry, I was making music, and then I started making visual art and it really clicked. My art is very Afrocentric. Representation is very important to me. Uh, to portray people of African descent as powerful people, as beautiful people, as spiritual people, as people with control over their own lives. My art is also very nature-centric, and if you have a look at my work, it's filled with elements of the natural world. I do explore the relationship we maintain with the land, the relationship I maintain with the land, and the relationship our ancestors maintained with the land. I started writing at a very young age in a journal, which is something that I was probably inspired in a movie. And I just wanted to write different things about how my day goes, or the feelings I have, different things that were happening in my life. And that's how I introduced myself into writing, and then it became poetry. I went to School of Art in Rwanda, called the Col de Nyundo. Um, from there, I was introduced to different forms of art, sculpture, painting, music, performing arts, fashion. I taught myself spoken word from a video that I had seen of deaf poetry, which featured different um, poets, rappers, musicians from all over the world. And I was very much inspired by it. I continued watching and that's how I started doing spoken word poetry. I started working with Isho Art Center in Kigali that introduced a theater to me. And I fell in love with how theater has different kinds and forms of art uh, on stage, cinematography, scripts, characters, and how much you can tell a story visually and in words as well. So I started to explore different things from there as an actor and as a writer. I came to Kampala to explore the arts and to also meet different artists and to learn, of course, more and for certain growth as an artist here in Kampala. I'm Zina, I'm the programs manager of Vivid Synergies. This is a project by Afri Art Gallery, supported through the Ignite Culture Fund. So this project is a residency format that brings together artists from different disciplines. In the first residency, we have Greta as writer and Denzel as a visual artist. And they're going to work together for four months. In the end, there will be an exhibition and a book, a journal, something written uh, which is talking about uh, the theme both have worked on. And it's an exciting and experimental format which has not been there before. The leading theme of this residency is contemporary art storytelling. So how do African artists want to write, share, tell, document their stories? and uh, we are very excited uh, to see the outcome and uh, how it can benefit the local eco-arts system. For the Vivid Synergies residency, I am collaborating with a really talented writer, Greta, 
It's helped me dive deeper into the theme that we are working on. I benefit hugely from her perspective and her view on life. And I'm really excited for the viewers of the work as well, because she really expands on topics and themes that I am trying to convey through the visual art. But through the medium of text, it is very digestible for the reader to know exactly what we are trying to convey. Vivid Synergies is a very interesting project that I'm very excited about. And I'll be working with an amazing artist, uh, Danzel Muhumuza, whom I've met and seen his works. They are very interesting and amazing. And I feel like they reflect on something that I also wanted to explore in my writing journey as a writer and as an artist in general. So I feel very excited to work with him and see what we will create together to this futuristic project.